Hi, this is Andrea Kropp from Genius Netpreneurs, and this is a video for business owners to understand how Google is selecting which businesses are listed here in the map section and having their um, websites so prominently displayed here at the top of the search results. So we're going to talk a little bit about um, how Google is deciding which results uh, to display, and once you understand that, then of course you can use that information to get your own business displayed there. So the example we're using is Pediatric Dentist in Portland, Oregon. And as you can see here, um, there are seven results shown on the map. And there are also a variety of these um, smaller push pins, um, which are here in the more results. So there are clearly more pediatric dentists around Portland, Oregon. They're even mapped out for us. Um, but they're not being featured as prominently as these are. OK, so little experiment first I want to show you. So um, one of the things I did to get ready for this video is I just copied um, the names of the seven links here um, that came up as the top results. And the reason I did that is that I wanted to compare and contrast that with a search for Pediatric Dentist Oregon. And now uh, you would think that, uh, why is that not working? Pediatric Dentist Portland, Oregon. Um, now you'd think that the search results, whether you um, wrote OR for Oregon or whether you wrote out the word Oregon would be identical, um, but actually surprisingly they're not. Um, they're not terribly different, but they are different. Um, so again, here were the first seven results when we searched for Oregon abbreviated as OR. And here's a different set of results when we searched for what to the user is the exact same thing, but to the search engine is not because we've used Oregon rather than OR. Um, most of these are pretty similar, but as you can see, um, this last result, Great Grins, no longer appears. And instead, we have Pediatric Dentistry from Noel Larson. Um, and some of the others are kind of shifted around in position. Now contrast that to um, another analogous search for the user, um, searching for children's dentist, Portland, Oregon, uh, really should be the same thing to the user, but again, to the search engine, it's not. And this is going to give us, again, a, um, a different set of results. And in this example, um, we've, lost, uh, we've lost great grins again, and we've picked up um, downtown dental associates, which was not in any of the previous results. So there is actually um, a huge art and science to getting your business listed uh, for the keywords that users are actually using. Um, clearly, it's not helpful to get listed for a, an obscure word. So there's really two parts to this. The first part is understanding um, what are users typing into search engines. Are they more likely to um, be lazy and abbreviate the state as OR? Um, are they filling in the entire name of the state? Are they using the more um, precise name pediatric dentist or are they searching for children's dentist or kids dentist? So that's step one. And then step two is actually getting your listing to appear. Okay, so before we talk about exactly how these businesses are getting listed here, um, I want to share with you the fact that um, if it wasn't already clear, this is free traffic. These businesses are not paying for clicks on these links. Um, whereas the traffic over here on the right hand side where it says sponsored links, um, these dentists and dental offices are actually paying for traffic um, and generally you know a click might be anywhere from 50 cents to two dollars it varies by word um, but this is this is free traffic and this is paid traffic and what's really interesting to me is to look at um, whether there's any sites that appear on both sets um, so when I look at the paid advertisements over here Sunnyside Dentistry for Children Dentistry for Kids Online, Oregon Kids Dentist, Lake Oswego Dentist, Rose City Dental Northwest, Bittner Dentist. Um, what's obvious is that none of the dentists that are paying for traffic are the same as these that are getting their free traffic. Um, so there's a huge opportunity for the dentists over here on this side um, to get 
um, you really just spend 10 to 15 minutes to create a really solid Google Places listing and um, be able to get over here on the free side and also to be able to have these user reviews um, directly attached um, to their profile. So they're going to stop paying for traffic and they're going to get those reviews. So let's look at just a couple quick things here. All right, so I've clicked through on the map and I've also taken us back to our search for a pediatric dentist, um, Portland, Oregon, because there's a couple things I want to share with you here. So on the, on the initial results page, there were seven listings shown. And what you'll see in this more um, detailed view is there's actually 10 listings shown. So it's A through J. And what I want to draw your attention to is um, kind of the geographic dispersion of some of these results. So again, we asked for a pediatric dentist in Portland, Oregon, and we've got a couple of results here that are right, you know, smack dab downtown. Um, but we've also got several that are really way out in the suburbs. You know, this one is getting out toward um, Gresham. These, this one is probably actually has a city address of Tigard, not, um, not Portland. And over here, these, these are possibly actually city address of Beaverton, not Portland. So what's going on here? Because clearly there are other dentists actually in Portland, um, but the um, Google map here is showing us these results from way out in the suburbs. So what are these dentists doing um, to get these listings? So the, again, this is part art and part science. So I'm just gonna share with you a couple of the things that I notice about their specific listings. And then this video is part of a longer article, which is going to take you step by step through all of the known things that you can do to try to um, create a really rock solid listing to appear for as many words as possible. So let's take a look at result A over here out in the suburbs. Well, result A has pediatric dentistry in the title, and they also have a photograph included, and they have 12 reviews. Um, so that is clearly superior to a listing like, let's look at F, for example. Um, F has the benefit of being smack dab in the middle of Portland, um, but it doesn't have pediatric dentistry in the title, and it only has one review, although it does have a picture. And you can notice that several of these don't have pictures. Um, here's another one way out in, um, in G, or um, listing G. This one is much harder to explain. Not really sure what's going on there, why this one has been picked up. As far as I can tell, there's no pictures, there's no reviews. Um, but then you take a look over here at listing I. And again, this one has a photograph, it has 10 reviews, it has dentistry um, in the title. So a couple additional things going on here. Um, one of the other things to note is that um, where you see this category, pediatric dentist, um, this may actually be the only one of the 10 where this business owner has actually gone in and categorized their business as being a pediatric dentistry business. Um, so that would be a really smart thing for these others to do. And that's actually one of the drop down options inside Google. Oh, here's another one, pediatric dentist. And so you might say, okay, well, this result out here, uh, number J, um, there's, it's, you know, pediatric dentists, Portland, Oregon, are not in the title, there's no picture, there's no reviews, um, but this dentist has actually gone into their Google profile and tagged themselves as a pediatric dentist, and that's probably one of the reasons that they're appearing out here in the suburbs, even though we're searching for um, a dentist in Portland. So these are just a, um, a couple of the things to think about and be aware of as you create your listing. Um, creating the listing itself is only going to take about um, 10 to 15 minutes and you can always come back and augment it later with um, pictures and video and with reviews, but you definitely want to get your listing up and running. So we've got um, a great article that's live. Uh, let me just flip over it. Um, we've got a great article that's live on how to add a business to Google Maps. It's going to take you through all of the steps. It's got some additional um, video tutorials included and a lot of additional kind of tips and tricks. So I'd encourage you to go um, follow the directions in that article and create your listing um, for your business today and I'll stop paying for traffic if you can get free traffic. Thanks so much for listening and look forward to seeing you on the web and in a future video.